Hey, hey, hey guys! Welcome back! So today I am here with a Taylor Swift inspired makeup tutorial. I absolutely love this look. It was so much fun to create. I will admit it is not an everyday look, but it's really fun and you could wear it for a special occasion or even for Halloween if you wanted to be Taylor Swift. I loved creating it and I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. And OMG, I'm so excited. It's October 1st today. Like, what? I'm going to be doing so many Halloween inspired videos so if you guys want to check those out if you're not subscribed then be sure to subscribe. Also add me on Snapchat if you guys are not friends with me already be sure to add me. My Snapchat name is Ali for Real. I will spell it out right here so be sure to add me if you have not already. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram. I post pictures daily addicted to faced. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and thank you so much for watching and yeah request some videos down below be sure to comment because i will respond back to you and i love you guys millions <sighs> okay let's jump into this time. okay so just first starting out i put in my blue contacts i got these contacts online and i will put a link down below of where i got them they're really good and they actually don't hurt my eyes enough that thick so i really love them so now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to prime my eyelid with cons some concealer i already had on a little bit of foundation and my eyebrows filled in do is I'm going to go ahead and take a light brown shadow and I'm going to be applying this to my crease. This is called a transition color which is going to make all the colors blend in very well. Since we are using dark shadows, this brown will help the dark shadows be more pigmented. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking a dark gray color with an angled blending brush and applying it to my crease like so. I'm now taking a flat blending brush and I'm applying a dark black to my outer corner into my crease like this. I'm making an angled shape up to my eyebrow to give my eyes a little bit more shape like Taylor Swift had. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking my MAC 224 blending brush and we're going to blend this out. Blending is the key. Now I'm taking a flat shader brush and I'm taking a cream black shadow and I'm applying this to my outer corner. I'm also taking that black cream eyeshadow and applying it to my lower lash line like this and then I'm just blending it out a little bit. I'm then taking a cream nude eyeshadow and applying it to my lid. I'm really focusing on that. I really want the lid to pop. I'm just putting a little bit more black on my lid to make sure it blends in well. And then applying more black to my outer corner. I feel like I'm really focusing on that just because I want to make sure it's really nice and pigmented. And as I saw in her video, that's how Taylor Swift had it. So I wanted to really try to imitate that look. Now I'm just taking some liner. I couldn't tell if she had on any liner or not. I think in some shots she did, but in this look, I'm not completely sure if she did. But what I'm doing is I'm just taking a little bit of linear liner from Maybelline and I'm just making a little wing and then also applying that black to my lower lash line. And then taking a black mascara from Sephora and applying it to my lashes. Now to help this look more complete, I'm going to go ahead and shape out my eyebrows with a white cream shadow like this. Blending out that cream shadow with a flat shader brush and some white eyeshadow. I'm then going to go ahead and apply some false eyelashes that for some reason they kept messing up today but I sped it up because I did not want it to get boring and stuff so if you guys do want a tutorial on how to apply fake lashes then go ahead and comment down below. Um, I'm taking some more of the liner just to fill in the lashes so then they look like they go on with the eye. So there we have it, the final eye look. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm taking a concealer from Maybelline and I'm going to apply this all to my blemishes, to my dark circles, and to any pimples that I may have at the moment. I'm blending it out with my stipple brush. Oh, 
really crazy, but then I'm taking a shimmery eyeshadow and highlighting my face. I saw Taylor had really shimmered face in some scenes, so I wanted to try to imitate that a little bit. <laughs> she also had on a pink blush, which I am applying here. Everyone always busts on me for either having a foundation line or some sort, so I wanted to make sure I blended that out well so we did not have that problem today. And then I'm taking a red lipstick and applying it with a Q-tip just to get a nicer, more crisp look. But there we have it! The final makeup look! I absolutely love it! So super pretty! Oh my gosh! It's not everyday wear, but it's really, really pretty and I really enjoyed creating this look, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and I love you guys millions!